and what do they do to the game edit? Oh my god. The original soundtrack version is so... Uh, I almost cursed. It's so good. Now, you don't understand. Crimson Cloud, OST, the original version, that composer, oh, woof. It felt like I was in. It felt like I was in a in a nightclub, and I don't go to clubs. Woof. Oh, that was so good. And I was, for lack of a better word, I was legit, legit, vibing. Woof. All right. Okay. Okay. We're gonna take a seat, and I'm gonna get to to the lyrical section. Woof. God, was so good. All right. Oh, we're back. Woof. All right, so the OST version is far, far, far superior than the game edit. A thousand times superior. It really sets the mood. The way it opens up is letting you know what you're in for. And it, it's a build. It's a slow build. Very, very slow build. And then from there, it's just... It's... I feel like it really, really, really the composer. And let me see the name here. Um, Jeff Rona. I rolled the R's because I can. He did a fantastic job at really encompassing all the nuances just like Virgil, just like Nero, um, and Dante. But I feel like as far as nuances goes, I really feel like the Virgil theme and V's theme, they really encompass the characters. So let's get to the lyrical breakdown. Okay, so the first thing I want to jump into is the chorus. The chorus, my interpretation, Savior, Bloodstain, Hellfire, Shadow. Okay, Savior, this mine, this is what I got. Savior, Sparta, Bloodstain, the murder of, of, of their mother. Um, you know, the Bloodstains, the demons coming coming to kill Sparta. The Bloodshed, Bloodstain. Uh, Hellfire, they set the house on fire. They set to the blaze and shadow. Virgil, since V is, v is practically Virgil. V is Virgil, forever the shadow of his father. Heaven on a landslide. Oof, he I almost forgot. Heaven on a landslide. They're home on a landslide. What happens with landslides? It's it's a, a progression type of thing. It's it, it's it may be instant, but you feel you feel everything just goes downhill from there. And that was after the fact, cause the the chorus is Savior, Bloodstain, Hellfire, Shadow, Heaven on a Heaven on a Landslide. If you're in heaven, which he they were, Virgil was, his mother, his brother, and his father, and his I mean his mother, his brother, and his father. They were in heaven. And then, so, heaven experienced a landslide. And then, shit sh hit the, went downhill. That's my takeaway. My first thought was Shadow the kitty cat. But I'm like, nah. It, does, it, doesn't, it doesn't line up. This is my takeaway. Once again, Savior, Spar Sparta, Bloodstain, the murder of the family, the murder of their mother, excuse me, and practically him too. Hellfire, the house was set ablaze, and the shadow. Forever in the shadow of his father. Always trying to seek that because he's, he is, Virgil is essentially in the, in the shadow of his father. What does he seek to do? DMC3. He wanted the power his father had. And we know, come on, you guys, we know Virgil is all he wants is power. And he freaking, when Nero turns into, into his devil trigger, a voice echoed, Power. Give me power. So that's that was my takeaway. So, and also the first verse, and I'm reading it because I just want to get to the point. I don't want to ramble on to you guys. First verse, if you have to ask, it's too late. Mm, I couldn't really get that. Um, somewhere between your character Grace, okay? Because V, he's the human side. He's the, the in-between. Half human, half um, Virgil's half human, half demon. So the in between, and Ion Fantasy, and he kind of he V kind of walks with grace, man. He's spitting poetry, he's spitting bars at people. So it is written. And Ion Fantasy touching nails. Hmm. Hmm. Sparks fly off of off of me and onto you. Battle. You know when he gets hurt, because V's in pain. The further like his existence is pain, pretty much. Um, Brothers in the Dark, fight for your life. Hmm. That's kind of the theme of Delmar Cry Five. Virgil, Nero, Virgil, Nero, Dante, brothers, 
Fight for Your Life, or his his fellow his fellow um, extensions, his fellow extensions. Devils in the Dark, Fight for Your Life. That could be pertaining to the demon world, demons in it. Fight for Your Life, Fight for Your Life. Okay. Savior, like I said before, Savior, Blessing, Hellfire, Shadow. You got that. Uh, verse two. But originally in the OSC version, it's verse one. So I feel like this is a little straightforward, just a little bit. Devil in my blood, living on the edge. Mm -hmm. Split myself in two, death is all around. V is half Virgil, death is all around. You know, sh hit the fan. The game opens up with sh hitting the fan. Summoning the power, drag myself through the pain because it's 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 painful he's weakening so it's it's a very painful thing you're, you're literally you're half of a whole and even then he's like half of a quarter um so yeah his existence is pain and he's not he's on limited time we see throughout the progression of the game the the further the further the longer he's away from virgil that they're separated the weaker he gets so imagine Summoning the power, drive myself through the pain, blood spills off of me and onto you. Hmm. So, originally, the verse of before was sparks fly off of me onto you, battle. And since he's weakening my interpretation, blood spills off of me onto you. So instead of sparks, now it's blood. So, interesting. Hmm. Brothers in the dark, fight for your life. Devil in the dark, fight for your life. Fight for your life, fight for your life. Cool. I'm not sure if you guys prefer about my other ways that I did this. Let me know. Um, okay, and then the chorus, the savior, bloodstain, hellfire, shadow, and crimson cloud. Crimson cloud, evening sky. That doesn't I mean the sky was a crimson color because the 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 quiet fluff, um, in the game everything was practically blood red, blood red. So the sky was crimson red so crimson clouds evening skies so yeah um let me okay while i have you while i have your attention uh, that music the this that ost got me completely off guard um like that was real you guys that was no that wasn't that that wasn't that wasn't a facade i wasn't i wasn't hamming it up that was the real deal that was a legit first time um, here in the OST version, it's so much better. Okay, composition wise, I'm not a composer. Composition wise, it was very, very, very nuanced. Very nuanced. And it makes sense because V is nuanced. Very nuanced, I'm being, oh, I said a word in Spanish. Um, he's very, very nuanced himself as a character. What more can I say about these lyrics? I think out of all the characters, Nero and V are those their lyrics are a bit more straightforward. Now, the lyrics are straightforward, but you can you can dive into it. You can even you can honestly you can even break down the world's most simplest song and find deeper meaning into it. What more can I say, you guys? Once again, I know you guys are going to be in the comments saying, um, give me your thoughts, as you should. Your thoughts, your interpretations. I I try to, I don't want to say I look at all this face value because I don't. But I, I know there's a manga, a V. And I feel as if this doesn't have any references to it. I could be wrong. I did go to the manga. But... This is very intriguing to me. And out of all the tracks, out of Dante's, Nero's, Virgil's, and V's, my top two are, my top two, like, four is subhuman. Three is Devil Trigger. Two is Crimson Cloud by, a, like, a short margin. And bear the light, bear the light is number my number one because simply because of the vocals. That's it. Granted, they're all amazing compositions across the board, all of them. But bear the light, man. Bear the light is drives it home. But if if 
Casey didn't choose Victor Borba as the vocalist and it was sang differently, I wouldn't have liked it as much. It's a beautiful composition. They're all great tracks. But Barry the Light Man, something special. And guess what, you guys? The next song is... We are falling, the night is calling, tears inside me. Yes. Devils never cry. The alpha, the omega, the track that began it all. The track, the first DMC game I played and I became a humongous fan since. And to me, Dante's theme song across the board. So you may ain't bad, it's not bad, but Devils Never Crying is Dante's theme, to me, his theme song from across any game. It could be six, seven, eight, nine, Devil Never Cry, nine, 10, 11. Devils Never Cry will forever, to me, will forever encompass Dante. Full blown, forever and ever. So Devils Never Cry, look out for it guys, because that is, once again, the alpha and the omega. Thank you guys so much for watching, and it is a wrap. Thank you so much, everyone. Like, subscribe, comment, give me your thoughts, give me your interpretation. Thank you for rocking out with me on this one. For the record, I'm sure you guys notice, have noticed, I respond to each and every single individual comment. So you'll never get ignored, ever.